On the hook tonight for a $1 million settlement. Yeah, it centers around a wrongful death case involving a woman who died in the city jail. Uh, Morse Diggs is live in downtown Atlanta tonight with a story you will see only on Fox 5. Morse? When city lawyers tell the judge they're going to settle up for that amount of money, it's a pretty good indication of widespread incompetence. Now, I asked a veteran attorney who is not connected with the family to weigh in on the allegations in the case. It seems pretty clear that they were in jeopardy, potentially if it had gone to trial, of being on the hook for a lot more money. The serious medical needs of one female city jail inmate was met with indifference by staffers, including Atlanta jail medical personnel. That is a summary of a legal case on behalf of Wiki Bryant, a diabetic patient. In the amount of $995,000 and zero cents, authorizing the settlement amount to be charged to and paid from accounts listed. Code is closed 5808. City council members on Tuesday quietly approved a legal settlement just hours after the mayor held a signing ceremony on her intent to close the jail. An attorney who was not involved in the legal discussions offers her opinion about what went wrong inside the jail. The jail was well aware that she had to have this medication. They violated their own policies in terms of the appropriate doses to give her and when to give them to her. In the complaint, it was outlined that Bryant not only had a diabetic condition, but also mental illness. She would refuse to regularly take her medication, and when that occurred two times, staff was supposed to contact a physician. That was not done. It was an inmate that drew attention to her state not eating and lying motionless for several hours dying before any jail staff came around. It details a series of inadequacies with the Atlanta City Jail, a series of failures by Atlanta employees who are charged with making sure that inmates uh, at that jail were taken care of.